Of course I know Project Farm. Hello, Twin Force Fusion. And I have a bunch of people always seems to comment, hey, do you, you should see uh, Project Farm videos. Of course I know him. Uh, I've been, I probably saw it like twice every video I ever posted for many years. Uh, but here I have a, uh, because I just received the Platinum 5W30 oil analysis, virgin oil earlier today. But um, that was ba Bot Rocket um, asked me, well, because he uses it and he was w waiting for the numbers. And I also have uh, Steve that uh, he says he's, he uses the Moto 300V. And I told him in the past I did use it, but it's not very good for uh, daily use because of the high content of the zinc. But regardless, uh, most of these oil, I um, all tried it, uh, except for the Purple XPR PTH Racing Oil, never tried it. And the Amzo Euro, even if it's on my table, it's one of my friend's car because he has a TTRS and Audi, so that's what he uses. And uh, for uh, the non-American here, you could see a Motormaster Formula One. It's uh, it's sold uh, in our Canadian tires here. And uh, some machines uh, for um, the garden, I use that one. And uh, actually, I did, you know what? Might as well do an oil analysis. So the main focus for this video, uh, yes, I'll share you a lot of numbers, but it's to clearly see the difference between Amsoil and Pennzoil Ultra and why these two uh, went to the uh, the championship of uh, Project Farm and it was very tight. And I believe that uh, if the Boron was a little higher on the Pennzoil Ultra, you probably would win or at least uh, be close enough to be a tie and uh, why you should not use some uh, racing oils on the street. So uh, quickly, the difference between Amzol Signature and Penzo Ultra, uh, we, we're going to skip directly to the multi-source metal. Uh, Amzol has a little bit of Molly B, and obviously Boron, you know, you could see it's at least twice and a half more. Uh, magnesium, same thing, and more on the Amzol. Penzial Ultra, look at that, 2600 ppm of calcium. But again, calcium, it's a good additive, um, but not the best, but a very good additive. And I, I think companies like to use it because it's cheaper to use it. Uh, phosphorus, almost equal. And zinc, again, almost equal. Um, one big difference, though, it's the um, CST, the uh, viscosity, 100 degrees Celsius. 212 Fahrenheit. You could see the uh, Amsoil a uh, little ticker. Uh, we went through Tribodyne Lily. Royal Purple, again, if you look at it, the numbers, um, that's the street are, uh, Royal Purple you get at Walmart. Uh, you could see, except for the calcium, um, you know, it's lower than the, uh, the how you call it, the signature, and lower... Uh, except for magnesium lower than the uh, Penzo Ultra. So I'm just going to stay still here. And the CST, same as the Penzo Ultra. So for those who wanted to know the Formula 1, uh, pretty pure on top, if you look at it with uh, metals, uh, contaminant fairly low compared to the others, uh, especially the racing oils. And uh, a little bit of everything. Uh, it does fall short on some numbers, but hey, it's a pretty stout oil with a 9.7 CST. You know, nothing to complain when there's nothing on sale and this oil is about 10 bucks cheaper than, let's say, a, a Castrol or a Pennzoil. Uh, you know, it's good to have. So for those who use Formula 1, thumbs up. Uh, I use it on some of my uh, low-speed machines. Now, Motul. Okay, this is more for Steve. Uh, okay, there's a uh, higher contaminants. You could see silicone with 10, sodium 7, but I'm not too worried about it. Uh, then we look at the uh, Molly B 680. That's very good. But again, the boron 16, that's low. But, uh, you know, again, I'm not an oil expert, but um, boron is, is a wonderful additive. Uh, you could see 936 very high on the magnesium, only uh, the signature is higher. Calcium, almost equal to the signature, just a little lower. Uh, barium zero. Uh, 
uh, phosphorus uh, higher and again this is the zinc that's where it gets tricky uh, especially for Ford cars a while back I read a study that you don't want to surpass 966 ppm by doing so you risk to damage your cats so unless you're, you're in an event like an autocross event uh, I would say uh, low speed um, autocross um, you know maybe half mile um, uh, events yeah go ahead use the Moto 300 V but on daily basis I don't know maybe with time uh, you know you're just gonna just like boosting you know when you use the MBTE there they were MMT uh, that additive will uh, will eat away your O2 sensors uh, spark plugs and so on so gotta be careful with that and you could clearly see the purple XPR and PTH racing oil uh, these are pretty hardcore oil uh, these ones I would definitely use on a um, high speed uh, how to cross event uh, or uh, you know um, <laughs> figure eight uh, oval or whatever um, there's a lot of everything and a, a, sh a shitload of zinc if you look at that especially the pth racing oil um, and you look at the cst you know you could see the, the the tree racing oil they're clearly ticker at 212 fahrenheit versus the other and the uh, amzo euro i gotta give my hat to that's very thick uh, i'm wondering those who run the um instead of running 5w30 who runs the 5w50 i seen guys at the half mile events when they were too much time between the, the 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 races they had to step on the side and let their engine idle because the oil was too cold to or basically too thick uh, before they start so i hope this answers a lot of your question uh let me take a glance look at everything if you want to pause here just pause so you're able to uh, see all the numbers. Uh, unfortunately, some people ask me for T4, T6 Rotella. I have no machines that runs um, 1030 or 1040. Correction, I do have one machine that runs in 1030 and I use a Zamzoil. So I'm going to do an oil analysis of 10W30, but that's going to be much uh, later on. I don't want to open my, 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 my container right now because I'm only going to change the oil. Um, before uh, well at spring so take care i know there's a lot of numbers to digest um, any input whatever you have i'll gladly take and i'll keep adding up uh, this uh, comparo list thank you bye